Hello my dear children. Welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, this is the session 2 about air, water and weather. Children, in the previous session we studied about air and water cycle. Now we will study about weather. So children, weather describes how hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or stormy a place is at a particular time. So children, you can see here in the picture, this shows that how a hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or stormy a place is. So what describes all these? Weather. Weather describes all such things. Right? So we can say that changes in the weather are caused by the sun, wind and water vapor in the air. Correct? Now let's study about sunny days. What are sunny days? Yes children. The sun seems to change its place during the day. Right? So we can say that mornings and evenings are cooler because the sun rays are slanting. Right? So we can see in the picture the mornings and evenings are cooler because the sun rays are slanting. But what about noon? Noon is the hottest time of the day. You can see in the picture, yes, mornings and evenings are cooler, but noon is the hottest time of the day. Why is it so? What happens during the noon? This is because at noon, the sun is right over our head. And the sun rays fall straight on us. So, noon is the hottest time of the day. Right? Now let's study about windy and cloudy days. Children, we know that moving air is called wind. But, when the wind blows slowly, it is called a breeze, right? You can see some plants moving. They are moving very slowly because the wind is blowing very slowly. So this is called a breeze. But what about the strong wind? Strong wind along with rain or snow is called a storm. When wind blows slowly, it is a breeze. But when wind is very strong, and that too when it comes along with rain or snow, it is called a storm. Sometimes, Storms are accompanied by lightning and thunder. Right? You can see in the picture. This is a picture of a storm. The storm sometimes are accompanied by lightning and thunder. So, storms can cause a lot of damage to houses, to plants. Right? They cause a lot of damage. So we should be very careful. Okay children? 
Children, the sun appears to hide on cloudy days. You can see that the sun is hiding behind clouds because the sky is full of clouds. So we can say that it is cooler on windy and cloudy days than on sunny days. Right? Yes, we can say that. You can see in the picture the atmosphere and the sky is very cooler on windy and cloudy days than on sunny days. Right? Why is it so? It is because of the season. So now let's study about season. Children, every few months the weather changes and this is called changing seasons. Yes children, you might have seen in the, on the television this kind of picture, right? In the news, they always report about seasons, about the changing seasons. But now it is going to rain, now there will be a storm, now for the next two days there will be sunny days, right? So weather describes all the such changing seasons, right? So children, there are mainly five seasons. Which are those seasons? They are summer, winter, monsoon, autumn and spring. These are main five seasons. So let's study about all seasons. Children, summer is the hottest time of the year. Then, winter is the coldest time of the year. It rains during monsoon. You can see water everywhere. Right? Leaves fall in autumn season. In spring season there are flowers everywhere. Right? There are beautiful flowers everywhere in the spring season. So children, we saw about all seasons. And based on the changing seasons, our clothing and food habits and even our activities also change according to the season, right? We wear cotton clothes in summer season. We wear woolen and silk clothes in winter season. We use umbrella, gumboots and raincoat in rainy season. And our food habits also change according to the season. Right? So I hope you are all clear with the seasons. So there are mainly five seasons. Okay children? So I hope that you enjoyed this session too about air, water and weather. So children we will meet in the next session with the new lesson. Till then, keep learning. Thank you children.